Messi Cody here, welcome to another Unity Asset Store review, and in this video I'm checking out the Urban Town Middle Eastern Pack from Flaming Sands. And I'll be telling you how you can get your hands on over a thousand dollars worth of Unity assets that I'll be giving away in an epic competition to celebrate me reaching 2,000 subscribers on YouTube. Thank you to everyone for all your help and support over the last year, and I'll see you guys in a second. Messi Coda back again with another Unity Asset Store review. And just before I start this video, I want to say how blown away I am that we are close to 2,000 subscribers on YouTube. I am shocked, really, I am. 2,000 subscribers, 2,000 friends that I've made, 2,000 people that have been supportive, and really, I just want to give a big thank you to everyone. And how can I do that? Well, that's by giving away a load of stuff for free. That's right, I'm giving away over $1,000 worth of Asset Store Assets, really? You know, Unity Asset Store Assets, a thousand dollars worth, or more than a thousand dollars worth. Come on, get your name down, and then you can have them. Actually, I can do better than that. Yeah, why not? Let's make it more fun than normal, because usually I just go stick your name down, do a joke, do a click, do a share, and you're in for a raffle. Well, a lot of people have been asking me, hey, can you do live streams? I want to see you playing a game, being silly, making a tit of yourself. And I did the other week, and it was a lot of fun. And in the end, we just actually just sat there chatting for hours, just being mates, and that was fantastic. So why not do it again? Six hours worth of it. Yeah, come on, let's do it. So, live stream, giving away over a thousand dollars worth of assets, and having fun with my mates. What could be better than that? And in this video, we'll be checking out the Urban Town Pack. Well, the Middle Eastern Urban Town Pack, to give its full name, from Flaming Sands. Now, I was asked to check this out by Stanton a little while back, but I picked it up when it was on the Mega Sale for just $5. It's regular price, $10. That's right, $10 for this pack. And in this pack, we get 102 modular prefabs that allows us to build any kind of world we want, as long as it is a Middle Eastern Urban Town there. So what are we going to get? Well, let's find out. Here we are in the content demo scene, and we can see just how much stuff we get in this pack. All these modular components are one-sided, so great for performance. Not so fantastic if you want to put them in Ultimate Survival, or you construct Easy Build System, but you can get away with it with a little bit of work. After a while, these walls could get a little bit dull, and the tutorials do rely on you using the vertex painting to get these beautiful bricks to shine through these plastered walls. Only a handful of plants and trees, but to be honest, once we check them out inside the main demo scene, I think we're going to be pleasantly surprised. Here we are inside the demo scene, and immediately I can say this is worth more than a tenner. Just, just me just sticking my head in looking around the corner. This is nuts. Ten quid for this. Well, I paid a five for it, to be honest, because I got it on sale. Uh, okay, you can see these walls here. This is where you would be painting in some nice little vertex painting in here just to mix it up a little bit. It does look like that this wall was recently painted, but someone forgot to treat the doors. Oh, now that I can fly up close to this ca this little um, canopy here, I do like it. I like it a lot. So I've, I've walked around streets like this, and this is very realistic. This is bringing back memories for me. Uh, talking about those nice walls, I think these would look better with a better shader on them, but just as they are, these are tasty. And what's that wood like? Has he got a good wood? He has, it's actually, he's got a good wood. This just reminds me of the outside of my old house. Now, every time we went out into the garden, out of the kitchen, you look up, and over your head is this rotting from all the water that's gone into the concrete, and it's just, the plaster's just dripping down and fungus just dropping on your head brings back memories that's how realistic this is this brings back nice happy memories talking about good wood look at the texture on this bench this is a he has got his models are so are basic i mean there's the most complex uh, model you're going to see in this whole entire pack is something like this air conditioning here with over 100 verts. Everything else is around 20, 30 verts. And real effort has gone into his textures, and they are nice. These are, I mean, 10 quid. I've just paid. Oh, right, as again, I paid a fiver for it. But 10 quid if you're buying it now, new. I'm as I'm as happy as a pig in muck. Now, oh, let's have a look at these. Again, 
bringing back memories. These all over my garden. In my old garden, they used to have these. How realistic are these? How good are they? Let's have a look. Okay, yep. Yeah, when it's windy, they do, they do wobble around like that, and they need to take your eye out. And they're very dangerous as well. Very sh These are very sharp. I don't like the post processing effect. Um, it stops you from getting a good look when you close up because of the blurred. So let's just control shift P. I'm just turning that off for now so I can uh, play about inside. Let's have a look. How sharp are they? Mm, okay, they need to be sharper to be realistic in my opinion. They're a little bit too soft at the end. They're not they're not gonna worry about taking anyone's eyeball out. This is realistic. This is well done. This is a good texture. Oh a dustbin! Look at this over here. Nice. Oh man, in the heat. You open these up. Well, no, you don't even have to open. You're just walking in, like you're walking in. Oh, la, la. oh, the stench hits you from miles away. And let's have a look at the fruit. Okay, apart from the floating watermelon, I'm not sure why the watermelon's floating. Can't hold that against him because they're magic. But how good are his watermelon? That is a nice watermelon. It is rare you'll find someone who actually put a proper texture from a proper photo on a watermelon with all of the little scruffs and see where's they're growing here the watermelon was growing and it's got these imperfections nice what's his pomegranate like um a bit weird when you get close up so don't get close up to them you know if the fruits are right if you can work out what they're supposed to be well some look there you go i would like this texture on here to be dirtier not to be so shiny to be a little bit corroded but I'm just, you know, picking holes here on a 10 quid asset. I feel bad picking holes in a 10 quid asset because I'm, I like it so much. But there you go. And let's jump over this. Again, his ground textures, his stones. I'm I'm enjoying this pack. I really am. Let's just put, I'm going to put a player controller down. And we're going to run around. All right, here we are with our first person controller. And the good news is there's colliders. Yep, there's colliders everywhere. So we don't have to worry about any of that nonsense about adding our own colliders that is nice i do like the little dust particle effects it does feel like oh, i can i can smell the trash from here oh it feels like i'm here it feels like i'm walking around in an old abandoned a little bit eerie middle eastern town and i like the i like the detail that he's got into these shop signs and these really the effort that he's put into this pack and i am very impressed with his textures and his wood. Sometimes though, a lot of his textures can be a little bit too simple. Like here, he's cheated a little bit. You know, we've got this very basic texture here on this window for the slats. Because these meshes are so basic, it's a shame it's relying on these textures to bring it to life. And it's just not. You're going to have to really PBR it and have these poke out a little bit to make it more interesting. See? It just feels let down here. Now, if you had these whip slats here as proper part of the model, then yeah, I'm actually going to be really, really impressed as opposed to just a happy, a happy little chappy. Oh, what have we got down here? Should we go down this this little alleyway? Can we jump over there? Yeah, that's it. Jumped over it. Dog was chasing us and we got out of the way. Oh, watch out for your eyes. This plant will poke your eyeballs out. Again, we haven't really looked at these trees, but how are they? They are nice. I can't really complain with his textures because they are realistic. They are very good. Now you'll get this in and he's expecting you to paint all of these with that vertex painter to make it come to life. But for the sake of these walls as they are, they're good. They're nice. They just need more detail. He's relying on you to do that extra effort for yourself. Can we go down here? Oh, we're trapped. We shouldn't have gone over that wall, should we? Let's try and get back over. Yes! Oh, I can jump so high. And he's got more fruit over here. Different apples. Oh, sorry. This is like, you know, you've got everything you need for a little marketplace. All right, now we need to give it a score. And I really am enjoying myself just walking around this town. I love it. I love the shop signs. I love the doors. I love the shops. I love the fruit. I love those watermelons. And, well, to give it a score, I'm going to give it a score out of watermelons. That's how much I love those watermelons. It's a bit of a tricky one, this one, because I can't... When he's talking about support, how much support he gives, I've never spoken to the bloke. I've not seen him on the forums. I've just seen that people are giving him thumbs up in the comments section. But this product, this come out, 
in October. He has updated it in January. You can't ask more than that, and he is still updating it. He does say, take his word for it. So support, I'm gonna say, yeah, well done. Jobs are good and on support. Textures, hit and miss, unfortunately. Hit and miss. Some of them, I love them. This, like this here, is a lovely texture. Even the walls, all these walls are beautiful. But the window slats, some of the doors, they just need a little bit more work. These just feel like, okay, more effort could have put into here to make them alive, corroded. They just look like they were put in yesterday. Models, are oh, the models in this pack are the thing that upset me the most because all he had to do was add a little bit more detail in the model and this pack would have been outstanding. These doors could have done with a little bit more love. Those window slats are the ones that let it down the most because it just it's flat and you can see how flat the texture is as well. So with that in mind, let's say this pack is going to be three watermelons out of five. Three watermelons out of five, and it, I'm going to say it's definitely a must-buy if you need a Middle Eastern town pack. It's got to be at the top of your shopping list if you need one of these, because where else are you going to get something as detailed, as beautiful, and let's face it, as cheap as this. Oh, I can just smell the rubbish as I walk past it. It just fills me with nostalgia. Lovely. Alright guys, do not forget that I will be giving away over a thousand dollars worth of Unity assets. That's right, over a thousand dollars worth of assets. Crazy. I know, it's just nuts. How are you going to win this? Well, I'm going to be having a live stream on Twitch. I tried one on YouTube the other week and I loved it. You guys were fantastic. The support was outstanding. So let's give Twitch a go, see what it's like. And we'll do one of these raffles. So six hour long stream. We're going to be giving away a thousand dollars worth of Unity assets. So follow me on Twitter. Follow me on Twitch. Subscribe on YouTube. Can't jump over these. Wow. Invisible walls. That's cheeky. And if you do like these videos and you want to see more, don't forget to click on that big juicy red subscribe, click like, click share, go tell all your friends, your neighbours, random people that you'll see in your Middle Eastern Bazaar. Tell them to go check out the Messy Coder. And remember guys, if you do like it, click it. Till next time. If you want to see more of my crazy videos, click on the left side of your screen now. And down below, there's that big juicy subscribe button. And right next to it is the magic bell that if you click it, it will tell you if I've got a new video coming out. Till next time.